Here's how to build your own 3D printed animatronic using the kit from our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Your kit comes with seven 3D printed parts, three servo motors, a rechargeable battery pack and charger, the servo controller, and an accessory pack including servo horns, screws, and other accessories. Now we'll begin by putting the first motor into the inner jaw assembly. We'll take the piece of craft tape inside your accessory bag and we'll tape that to the top of the upper lip. Click the upper lip into the servo and then click that into place without pinching the wire. Once you've done that, you can begin to screw it all together. And we'll take the one screw, screw C, and we'll put that in the hole by itself. Then we'll take two of screw D and we'll screw those into the other two holes. Then we'll screw the bottom of the servo into place using two of screw D. Once that's done, we'll begin to assemble the link adapter. Click the two pieces into place and then use one of screw D. Screw that into place and then we'll begin to mount the servo horn onto the adapter. You'll use four of screw B And then once that's set, we can take the link adapter, slide that into the jaw assembly, and screw that into place with screw D. We'll take the neck plate adapter, and we'll mount the servo horn to the neck plate adapter using four of screw B. Then let's move on to assemble the neck base. We'll pop in a servo and we'll screw that into place using four of screw D. and then take one of screw A, the tiny black screw, and screw that into place. and we'll place that motor in, into the neck plate adapter, screwing that into place using four of screw D. And once that's done, we'll mount the link horn adapter using another tiny black screw, screw A. Take the paper clip provided and let's clip that into a one and three eighth inch straight wire. We'll then bend a hook on either side, 3 8 inches each. Take the two-arm servo horn, and using your pliers, we'll clip off one side. We'll then hook our wire into the servo horn, and screw that into place. Then, take the pin included in your accessory bag, pop that into the lower jaw, then connect your link to the lower lip, and you've built an animatronic. Now let's add power. We've got our battery pack and our controller, 
and the black and the red wires plug into the side just like that. Black is negative, red is positive. Our servos plug into the other side. This is a three channel servo tester, but we're gonna plug one servo in at a time, otherwise they'll all move at the same time. You'll line it up horizontally, be sure to read where the plus and the minus is, and plug it into place accordingly. This controller allows you three modes, on with manual control, off, and on with auto control. Congratulations on building your first animatronic. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and have a magical day.